Of course we ended up stranded on a desert island. Hey, I still have my phone. I'll post an SOS. What? False. Ow. What? But that doesn't even matter. Sadly, fact check websites are prone to label posts, articles, and even memes as false or missing context over completely pedantic or irrelevant details. For example, when this incredibly compelling Instagram page posted a tweet pointing out the absurdity of a proposed law, it was fact checked as missing context just because the law hadn't been passed yet. But the post never said it had been. I sincerely hope that's the dumbest thing I'll hear today. It won't be. Ron Paul and Jim Webb once made the exact same claim about the federal income tax, quoting the exact same expert. But PolitiFact gave them different ratings. Snopes rated the claim that AOC wasn't in the Capitol building on January 6th as mostly false, even though their article admitted that she was, in fact, not in the main Capitol building. And let's not get into all the fact checking that occurred about the lab leak hypothesis, almost all of which has aged very poorly. But don't we need fact checkers to protect us from misinformation? Not really. In fact, they spread it themselves. When Snopes fact checked satire articles from the Babylon Bee, they tried to justify it by rewriting Babylon Bee headlines to make them sound as true as possible, and then asking people if the headline sounded believable. They took the results of that survey and used it to suggest that people who read the original unedited Babylon Bee headlines thought they were true. Oh, that sounds like lying. Yeah, sounds like it. When they're suppressing satire, it's obvious that many who claim to be fact checkers are really just content suppressors. But even if they were all being perfectly honest, the idea that we can simply fact check hot button political issues as true or false just isn't realistic. Debates about public policy can be extremely complicated, and people don't always agree on which facts are relevant, if they even agree on the accuracy of the factual claims at all. While the idea of fact checkers might be very convenient, it's a lot better to do your own research. Finally, someone answered. Hello? Yes, I'm stuck on an island with my friends. Yeah, nice try, Bob. I saw the fact check. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful, exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.